Is it you a customer Britannic? We are a customer right. Britannic. And what solution do you have? We have the Mitel telephony solution. Do you have it in from, the contact centre? In the contact okay. centre. In the whole organisation. Okay. Um, so that's, that's worked for us since 2016. Uh, that went live. So we're building on that and looking at maybe implementing live chat solution. We're looking at going to a cloud contact centre. Um, but of course, as I said, we're local authority, so there will always be restraints on the amount that we can spend. So we're looking at, yeah. So what are you hoping to get out of today? Uh, I don't know, some more ideas of how it can work for us. And I'm not sure, you know, Local authority maybe is probably a little bit more restrictive, so it's how that can work for us and our customers, because we're all local services. So are your challenges mainly around the financial constraints, or are there other things, technological challenges, and other things that factor? Um, I think for me at the moment, I'm trying to work out the solution of getting, because I appreciate it's a different generation now. There's lots of technology. It moves very quickly, and how people communicate with each other is changing. So for me, it's also about the live agent and keeping things interesting for them. So we put things in place that the repetitive tasks are dealt with by intelligent telephony, you know, chatbots. Um, but again. I'm finding with like live agents that communication with their internal customers, you know, I'm seeing a generation that maybe is not used to doing that, so to pick up the phone and say, what's the answer, how do I work both of those together, because I can put all the solutions in place that does all the clever stuff and takes away the repetitive stuff, but also it's the human agent as well. So putting things and getting clever solutions that help with that is one thing, but it's trying to, I suppose, maybe change my way of thinking, you know, is it a world where communication is not talking face to face on a phone? So, so you're looking, um, apart from um, in vaccine more omni-channel yeah. channels of communication yeah. contact centre. Are you looking at more AI self-serve options as well? Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah. I mean, we've got those some in place. Um, as I say, we've got chatbots, we've got IVR, intelligent telephony. But when, when I went live on that project in July, 11th of July, so three and a half months in, it's dealt with over 10,000 inquiries um, and 50% of what would normally, sorry, would normally come to the agent, we've taken away. So we've got great solutions there. Uh, but as I say, it's getting that fine balance for the new generation, what technology they want as well, and what works best for a local authority. Because we've got vulnerable citizens as well, who we know want to talk to a person at the end of the phone. Um, so, yeah, it's a local authority. I came from private sector into public sector, so, yeah. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. That was perfect.